On to our other big news of the day concerning the Boise River. Flows on the river may increase to 10,000 CFS, well above the flooding levels that have already swollen the river's banks. Federal, state, and local weather experts say the chance is small, but if it happens, it could cause moderate flooding in many areas. Six on your side's Lacey Darrow joins us live in studio with details in our continuing coverage. Don, while the chances of needing to increase flows that much are slim, experts say just 10%, several factors could increase those odds. If the Boise River were to reach 9,500 CFS, the river level would be up to 11 and a half feet. It could affect some residential properties near the river, but it would spill over the banks into the warehouse district of Garden City. If the river flows were to reach 12 feet or 10,500 CFS, flooding would occur over Park Center Boulevard and portions of Eagle Island would be submerged. While there's only about a 10% chance of that happening, we decided to look at what could increase the odds that the Boise River reaches its highest level since Lucky Peak was constructed. There's two things that will really cause a problem as far as the river level going up. One is the above normal precipitation continuing for the next month or two that we've been having for the past month. And the second thing is if we get too rapid of a warm up with temperatures shooting to the 80s to maybe even near 90 before all that snow melts, it'll come down too quickly and force them to raise the river. Water managers are watching a number of factors each day. And while it's not looking likely, everyone wants to be better safe than sorry. If we continue to have above normal precipitation through April, which I do expect, that number may go up by the end of April. Water managers say it's a very fluid situation. It literally changes with each storm that passes. But there are also a number of other factors that contribute. A big one, farmers. If it gets warm and dry, then we know the irrigation demand is going to increase. So that's going to take some water out of the system as well, too. But if it stays cool and wet into April and May, then the farmers won't be using as much water. So is there anything you can do to help the flooding situation? In fact, there is. If we water our lawns now, it can all help. Every bit will help to get some uh, more water out of the reservoirs. Water experts are meeting again next month to assess the situation further. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Darrow, 6 on your side.